stand by putting him through to record. Okay. Please say hi to Rick. Good morning, Rick. Hey, Rick. You guys, uh, we're talking uh, small business and Bank of America this morning with uh, Sharon Miller from Bank of America and Steve Strauss, a small business expert. And guys, uh, you know, we, uh, we hear a lot about small businesses around the holiday shopping time where we're encouraged to, to shop small. But uh, for people that are looking maybe to uh, start a small business or, uh, or, or people that rely on small businesses, this is a, a very important topic. So uh, for people looking to start a small business, uh, Steve, is the first thing they need to do is maybe uh, develop a, a business plan or a game plan? Oh, absolutely. You know, a, a pilot would never get in a plane and fly from New York, say, to, to Phoenix without having a flight plan, right? That pilot needs to know what direction to head in, how much gas they're going to need, you know, markers to look for on the way. So that's all your business plan is. It's just your flight plan for your success, how you're going to get from point A to B or, or Z or whatever it is. And the other thing I would encourage people to do is really to take advantage of technology. There are so many amazing tools out there these days that allow you, as a small business person, uh, to be small and be nimble, and that's the great thing about small business, but to look big. I know, for example, Bank of America has uh, a new tool that they're, you can talk yeah, about it better we than just, I can. In Sharon. fact, we just launched our Business Advantage 360, and this is truly mission control for the entrepreneur, for the business owner. It lets business owners do what they do best, which is run their business and follow their passion, follow their dream. And what we do in the background is help them understand what's coming due, what is going out, so your cash flow, because that's a main reason why business owners go out of business. It's very, very critical that you have a partner that can help you with this, and that's where we come into play, whether it be online through this platform, through our specialists in the centers across the country. It is critical for a business owner and entrepreneur to have a partner, and we want to be that partner. Yeah, small businesses' uh, best friend is, is typically uh, typically their bank, and in this case, Bank of America. And Sharon, you're the you're the head of small business at Bank of America. Mm -hmm. What should uh, maybe uh, prospective or current small business owners do before they even come to see you? What uh, What do you recommend? Well, it's only, always important that uh, business owners. I mean, first of all. I would like business owners and entrepreneurs to come in to see us even before they get started because we can help. We can help identify what do you need to really think about? How do you put together your business plan? And that's what we do. We have specialists throughout the country that can help sit down with you to understand this is what you need to think about. And generally speaking, business owners come to us because they want access to capital. And we want to make sure that the business is viable, it's sustainable, and that they have the revenues to pay us back because it does no good for us to extend a loan to someone that's getting into business when they shouldn't grow, when they, shouldn't, when they don't have the right plan. Uh, so we want to make sure that we are having those conversations, really uh, candid conversations, so that we can grow together. And that's what's going to help the communities that we serve across the country stay viable, stay vibrant, and continue to grow because small business is the backbone of the U.S. economy. It is 99% of the, the employees of the, of the businesses in the United States are small business. And Bank of America, we have the privilege of banking one out of every three business owners in the U.S. So we certainly have our finger on the pulse of what's happening across the U.S. Yeah, as an, as an American, we're, we're affected and, and impacted and deal with small businesses on a daily basis. And, and, and Steve, you've seen it all in, um, as an author and, and, and writer and, and small business expert. Uh, you know, sometimes like, uh, like Sharon said, you have to have real talk with people. But, uh, Steve, what are some of the, the common pitfalls or mistakes you see uh, small business owners make, uh, you know, early on in the process or as they're, uh, as they're growing their business? Well, one mistake I see people make uh, too often is not having enough profit centers. Uh, you know, usually a business, uh, someone will start a business because they love something, right? They're passionate about it, and they'll learn how to do that, and they'll create a profit center. It's a product or a service or whatever the case may be. But then after that, they never create extra profit centers, and that's dangerous. It's like owning a stock. If you own just one stock, that stock could go up or that stock could, could go down. So what great businesses do, big and small alike, is they have multiple profit centers. You have a, another product, another couple products, another location, another service. That way, when this part of your business is down, that part of your business is up. And that one's down, then the other is up. So it evens out your business cycle, 
and it allows you to stick around for the long haul because you're really serving your, your customers in a variety of ways. And that's, especially these days, what you want. And I think too, Steve, what I find when I when I sit down with clients is, you know, once you have your business plan established, be flexible enough to right. understand that every day is different. And you can't be just so stuck in this is the way it has to be. You have to be flexible. You have to move with the times and understand that what worked today may not work tomorrow. And so you've got to be able to have that uh, sounding board, I think, with a specialist that understands the local community you're operating in to say, hey, have you thought about this? Or what about that? Or I noticed that this restaurant is busy on these days and you're not. And so those are those are some of the things that we can help uh, deliver back to businesses. And one of the things I like about the, the Business Advantage 360 product you're mentioning is that it allows a small business person to run their business. You know, we don't have every skill in the book and some of the skills we don't have may be financial. So if there are tools out there that make it easier for us to run our business on the finances side and then we can do what we love best, which is serve our customers and grow our business. That's that's what really works, I think. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, I love I love that. And we're wrapping up here with Sharon Miller and Steve Strauss. And Sharon, I'm I'm sure you've seen uh, uh, people come to you maybe that uh, have left corporate America or have left uh, uh, the public sector that are now looking to uh, to get into owning a small business or starting a small business. What's the uh, what's the advice and what's the uh, what do you tell them about the difference between corporate America and uh, and starting a small business? Well, I think, uh, one, with corporate America, you have a lot of different resources available. Um, with a small business, right. you are the HR department. You are the law department. You are everything. You're wearing many hats. And so when you have less than 100 employees, and most small businesses have you know, four or five. And so if one person calls in sick, guess what? You're filling that role. And you have to make sure that you are available and that you, um, you, know, you may be uh, one day behind the cash register, the next day organizing everything. You're, you're wearing so many hats and that's what business owners do. And that's what they tell me. I'm the CEO, I'm the CFO, I am the human resources executive. I don't have all of these different uh, uh, professions at my disposal. I have to do it all and outsource. And so I think that's one big shock that I hear from corporate America that comes in to open a small business that they find, oh, wow, I didn't realize this. I didn't think about that. And that's why it's so important that you have a partner like Bank of America to help you navigate all of those pitfalls. Yep, flexibility is the key. Uh, we'll put uh, the website and all the information in the show notes as well. Uh, after this airs, bankofamerica.com. Uh, backslash Business Advantage 360. Guys, thanks for coming on. Great advice and uh, continued success. Thank you so much, Rick. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Thanks, guys. Okay, you guys are clear. Great job. Uh, going back to Rick.